Franklin Company is working on a solution to one of the world's biggest sources of carbon dioxide, cement. If the cement industry was a country, it would be the world's third largest emitter of CO2. But that could soon all change. Ben Tracy shows us the effort to decarbonize the building blocks of our world. It's the backbone of our buildings, our roads, and our bridges, and just about every damn thing in between. Cement is a powder that, when mixed with water, forms concrete. Besides water, it's the most widely used substance on Earth. Cement is the binder, so that's the sticky stuff that we put in concrete. What people always like to say is, you know, it's not a cement truck, it's a concrete truck. Cody Finke is the CEO of Brimstone. And if you want to know what his team is attempting to do behind this garage door in Oakland, California, well, the writing is on the wall. It's really nice to look at. It's very nice to look at. Finky and co-founder Hugo Leandri were Caltech scientists who decided to tackle cement while their fellow grad students focused on electric vehicle batteries and solar panels. Almost no one was working on cement. And that might be that cement is not particularly sexy. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty gray and blocky. Yeah, it doesn't look high tech. Cement is a concrete problem. The industry is responsible for about 8% of planet warming carbon dioxide emissions. That's about the same as every passenger car on the road worldwide, and far more than the global carbon emissions from aviation. Far in the hole, guys. Far in the hole. Most traditional cement is made from limestone, blasted out of the side of giant quarries like this one in California's Mojave Desert. It's like the Flintstones come to life. Yep. Steve Regis runs cement operations for Cal Portland's Oro Grande cement plant. Uh, this is limestone. Limestone contains calcium, the binding agent in cement. But limestone also contains carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas rapidly warming the planet. Now, of course, the CO2 up the stack is the obvious elephant in the room. He took us up to the top of the plant. Well, just watch your hard hat so it doesn't fall off. To show us this giant kiln. That's really the heart of the cement plant. Where the limestone is superheated to about 2,700 degrees using these piles of coal, that process releases tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This stack is where the CO2 comes out? Correct. Yeah. Regis argues that concrete is a time-tested and reliable building material, and the industry is working to make it cleaner. But back at Brimstone, Cody Finke has discovered a potentially game-changing, yet shockingly simple, shortcut. We're just making the same thing from a different rock. They are called calcium silicate rocks and don't contain any planet-warming CO2. Is there enough of your rock to go around to really change this whole industry? It's about 200 times more abundant than limestone. So it is basically half of the rocks on the surface of the earth we can use. And thanks to big backers, including Bill Gates's Breakthrough Energy Ventures and Amazon's Climate Pledge, Brimstone is attempting to rapidly scale up its innovation, claiming it will be cheaper and just as reliable as traditional cement. If you haven't yet built a building or a road or a bridge or something out of this, how do you know it's as reliable as limestone-based cement? It's because it is chemically and physically identical. We're quite confident that the chemistry works and we can make the same material. And if he can convince the global construction industry... This is cement and there's no CO2 in this? Right. It could become the building block of a cleaner future.